Tim, tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments in a case that could make a historic change for the homeless population across the country. Good evening, I'm Ann Lurie. And I'm Aaron Lee. You know, the case stems from a town in Oregon finding homeless people almost $300 for sleeping outdoors. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with a local city official and homeless advocate on their response to the local homelessness crisis. She's live with more. Alicia. Aaron and Ann, this case has started many difficult conversations as the court rules as to whether or not cities can punish people for sleeping outside if shelter space is unavailable. It's going to do more harm than good um, just because you're basically punishing people that don't have options. Jennifer Reed, who is an active advocate for the homeless throughout Lackawanna County, along with her team, deliver food to the homeless in the area. She says that they've seen two to three new people in need of meals and struggling with homelessness each week. Obviously, the cost of living has gone up, which is, it's hard for the common person to get by, let alone if you're on the border of being homeless yourself. So you get a fine for being homeless, but you can't get farther in life because you're constantly being arrested. According to a 2023 report from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, homelessness nationally has gone up by 12 percent, its highest reported level. To combat the homelessness crisis in Wilkesbury, Mayor George Brown is seeking approval from city council to authorize him to award almost $110,000 of the city's American Rescue Plan to the Keystone Mission. This funding would help the Wilkesbury Keystone Mission provide overnight shelter to the homeless for one year. The Keystone Wilkesbury facility currently serves as a daytime drop-in center for people experiencing homelessness Monday through Friday. Very important for the mayor. He has always been concerned about it, the circumstances. Uh, we've had various encampments at various times over the last four years. City Council is expected to discuss the funding for the homeless shelter overnight um, at their meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the City Hall building. Reporting live from Wilkes-Barre, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, First at 10.